Hey there, my name is Dr. Cork and today I'm going to make Across the Pacific, which is essentially a Mai Tai 2.0. This cocktail was created by Megan Dorman, the bar director of Dear Irving in New York City. Despite the drink's name and tropical feel, it has a distinctly transatlantic element in its use of Italian Amaro. People often have fond travel memories of Italy or want to go. Who doesn't want to drink like the Italians? Or at least mentally escape these days, says Dorman, the author of this cocktail. I changed the recipe a bit for my taste and substituted Orge with Amaretto and Jamaican rum with Caribbean overproof rum. Other than that, this cocktail is just the same. Ah, also, <laughs> I don't use uh, crushed ice, I prefer cubes. Maybe I should have called this cocktail Doctor Across the Pacific. <laughs> this is also a pretty strong cocktail, and I have made an entire video about the strongest cocktails in the world. You can check them out here or there. This cocktail is shaken. And to the shaker we're gonna add dark rum, one ounce, 30 milliliters, overproof rum, mine is 57% alcohol, half an ounce, 15 milliliters, Italian Amaro, which will give bitter and herbal notes, half an ounce, 15 milliliters. The original recipe calls for almond syrup or jet, but I prefer using almond liqueur, Amaretto, 15 milliliters, half an ounce, simple syrup, one part water, one part sugar, by weight, half an ounce, 15 milliliters. And last but not least, lime juice, three quarters of an ounce, 22 milliliters. Now the interesting part, we add one ice cube and shake it till this ice cube melts. You can hear it actually. I dedicate the shake to this comment. As you can hear, the ice has melted. And now it's time to fine strain the cocktail. To the chilled old fashioned glass, add some ice and fine strain the cocktail. Garnish with a lime half, with a little bit of overproof rum and set it on fire. And this is how you make Across the Pacific also known as Mai Tai 2.0. It's a strong, sweet and sour cocktail. Reminds me of tiki. It is in balance, in perfect balance, I'd say. But you need to be careful with it, because its booziness is hidden. It's too easy to drink. Mm. Perfect. Original recipe calls for crushed ice, but as I already said, I don't like it, but it would dilute the cocktail more and it would be less boozy, but its taste would also be not as strong. Mm. Good. If you are tired of Mai Tai and want to try something like that, but a little bit different, definitely check it out. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and Instagram. Tell me in the comments what you want to see next on my channel and you can find all the recipes in text form on my website dr-cork.com. All the links are in the description to this video. If you want to support my channel and get early access to new videos and additional content, please consider subscribing to my Patreon. Thanks a lot. All the links are in the description. Drink responsibly and as always, dosvidos.